Yo, what's up everyone? This is your boy back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Manjaro Arch Linux into a hacking machine. So basically as you can see this is the Manjaro, the most popular OS right now, the most popular Linux distro right now, sorry for that. Uh, the most popular Linux distro, if you go on the distro watch, it is hitting it to the top one. So this is the uh, GNOME based Manjaro Linux, as you can see, got plenty of uh, applications installed on it. So uh, the thing is, uh, if you are pen, uh, if you are into penetration testing and you want to set up your Manjaro into a hacking machine, so I'll show you because it's a, a, a Arch Linux, Arch Linux, so you can't use APT on it. So for that, we would go with Pac-Man, but installing every package separately, that's going to take a lot of time. So the easiest way to do it is go to the Black Arch Linux main website. So as you know, the Black Arch is also penetration testing OS, and it's based on Arch, so which means you can use it and install its tool by adding its repository into your Manjaro's. Uh, repos repository. So to do that, first of all, what you're gonna do is go to blackarch.org/downloads. So now you'll see here installing on top of Arch Linux. So many of you got idea what to do. So if uh, for those of you who are new, you can go with me. Just first of all, what you're gonna do is uh, type in sudo and uh, copy this, or just type this here in your terminal and paste it. And press enter, and it'll ask for your password, your root password. Press it, and it'll take time to just download that. Depending on your internet connection, and here it's done. So now, what you're going to do is the next command. Copy that with the sudo. Remember? Oh, oops, sorry, I uh, missed that. So you're going to sudo and pr press enter. As you can see now. After that, you want to change the mode or the permission for that file that you just downloaded, stripe.sh, and press enter, and now run that, sudo slash stripe.sh, and press enter. Now it's installing the black arch uh, keyrings, as you can see, now it's updating the repository or the files the databases that are required so it's going to take a uh, take a while so bear with me so now it's just installing the synchronizing the database or updating the packages so after that's done we are good to go so Mine took a while because uh, my bash is actually running uh, through the Tor service and it's enabled, so that's why it was taking time to install or download the database or synchronize the database. So after that's done, you run the sudo dot stripe dot sh command. Now after it's installed, we'll clear the terminal and here is to list all the available tools in the black uh, arch repository so you can just paste it right here and press enter uh, type your root password and as you can see now looking at this there uh, looking at the tools this way is pretty hard so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in sudo pacman minus capital S and type black R and press enter and as you can see here are all the tools let me make it full screen for you by the way the terminal looks a kinda awkward, awkward in the full screen but here it is, all the tools that are required. Uh, like all the tools that they are not required, but actually all the tools that are available in the Black Arch Linux. So you can install it from here by simply, as you can see, with uh, I uh, typed Pacman minus a capital S and Black Arch, and here are all the tools available. Now you can see a number in front of every tool, or you can just simply press Enter and go with it. But remember that. Uh, it's well over 20 gigs of it requires uh, well over 20 gigs of space and uh, definitely it's going to take a lot of time to download depending on your internet speed so here are all the tools but 
uh, you can just press, press type in the number and it will download it for you so we'll go with any of the tools so we'll go with the 28 the aircrack ng so we'll go down here and type in 28 and press enter and you say you want to proceed with the installation yes sir and here you can see now it's installing the aircrack so this is how you can install the tools that are required because basically it's all uh, it's uh, penetration testing is more about skills than tools so uh, you will definitely need the number of tools that you use so you can easily download them and if you require any other tool in future you can use this simple command and install the tools so i hope this video i made you'll find it helpful and drop a like if you liked it and it you find it helpful and dislike it if you think that in my video was a waste of time waste of your time so thanks peace